Is it a good time to buy Ethereum? Will Ethereum go to $1,000? That is what everybody is asking me right now. Everybody wants to be in at 1,000 bucks. Obviously, if we get to $1,000, will you be asking for 800? Who knows? Let's dive into the chart and see what is going on. So Ethereum, guys, has been in a bit of a downtrend, as we well know, for quite some time. But we've started to see a bit of a level off on the four hour chart with the highs here sat at around $1,400 and dropping down to around $1,250, give or take a few dollars uh, on the lower end. If we're looking into the pattern, there's no real idea which way we're looking at going. What we're gonna look at is what is going on in the wider market, the macroeconomics, and a few other different things. Now this low came in around June of this year and now what we could be putting in could potentially be a higher low guys. Think about it like this, is it potentially something that we are lining up here? No one has really been talking about this but if we take from this low here and we draw a rough line across then yeah we have had a little bit of a breach of that area but actually it's interesting we are interacting quite heavily with not only this trend line here but we've also had this falling trend line here and now we're forming this consolidation. A consolidation is basically the opportunity to see whether the price can continue to fall further. And it's basically time spent here while it's building up to gather its momentum to move one way or the other. Now, in terms of the most probable expectation, it would be that the most probable expectation is to continue further because obviously we're in a downtrend and we have been in a downtrend all the way back since the 13th of August. And obviously, if you look on the wider scale, we've been on a downtrend significantly longer than that. It would be my expectation that we're gonna to return to $1,000. But something crazy happens when everyone in the comments is telling me that the price is gonna to drop to $1,000. When everyone's assuming that they're gonna be able to buy in cheaper, whether that's Ethereum or Bitcoin, it does tend to mean that the bottom is in. And the reason for that is the bottom only comes when everyone's least expecting it, where you get a big dump towards the downside and it really burns people and everyone offloads their crypto into fear. But right now, no one's really gonna be looking to offload into fear because they've probably been through the worst of it so far. Unless we see a significant drop below $1,000, I don't think we're gonna see a significant sell-off in crypto. What I can see realistically happening in a shorter span of time would be a push back towards around $1,400 and then maybe a return and a fall down towards this $1,000 level. If we jump across to Bitcoin, Bitcoin showing us something that might actually give us a little bit more confidence that that won't be playing out for Ethereum. The reason for that, guys, is we did have a low here and unlike Ethereum where we're having a higher low, Bitcoin is now actually forming a very tidy double bottom pattern. And if you don't believe me, because it looks a bit shabby on the four hour, if we jump across to the daily, then we have actually a very, very tidy looking chart pattern here. We've got our falling wedge. Typically we'll break towards the upside because the downside of this, you know, is pretty much well under $10,000. You can see that pretty much the downside of this is pretty much down towards $6,000 or so. So unless we were sort of maybe having a little dip and a push, I do believe that in the shorter term, Bitcoin has probably found a bottom which is showing me that Ethereum actually isn't as obvious as what I've just made out. And we will come back to the Ethereum chart in just a moment. What we can see happening on Bitcoin is something else within this larger chart pattern is in fact smaller patterns emerging as well. And you can see this pattern here could well be drawing into a situation where we have a squeeze and it's only a matter of time, somewhere around mid-October, which is actually just a couple of weeks ago, where we could end up getting out the end of this falling pattern here. Let me remind you, if I zoom out of this, target for this falling wedge pattern, guys, is back up at the top, back up at $65,000. Now that on Bitcoin is a whopping 250%, but if we jump across to Ethereum to get back to all-time highs, which if Bitcoin pushes back to all-time highs, I have no doubt that Ethereum is gonna push as well, will be 280% for the ETH price. Surprisingly, Bitcoin actually has further to get than Ethereum, which is actually sitting quite high up when you see that Bitcoin is forming that double bottom pattern. So if we're wondering what to do and how to play this particular pattern. Well, if we're looking to buy and sell just and hold for a period of time, we're not looking to watch the charts all the time. And we'll dive in a little bit more detail to a smaller time frame in a moment to see how you might want to day trade this. But if I was looking to buy right now, I still don't think this is a bad time to buy. And yes, you could get a drop into this $1,000 zone. And yes, you might be a bit annoyed that that happened. 
that you bought here and it came down in here. But I guarantee eventually once it gets into this area, there's pretty much one way out of it, guys. The, low, the lower we push down, the better your returns and the lower your risk because the lower the chance of it continuing to fall further, the higher the chance of it going higher and the further it has to go higher as well. I think that we're gonna see perhaps a little push out down into an area down here and we're gonna see something like this unfolding again. You're looking into mid-October before this unfolds with Bitcoin leading the charge on that. So in terms of like an idea of where we're gonna break out of here, no one knows guys and the only way to know is when we break out, we come back and we retest and we push towards the other direction. That could happen upwards and that could also happen downwards. If I'm looking on a shorter time frame of what I'm actually seeing here, you would tell me that the momentum is overall down. Yes, we've been pushing up, but we are still lower highs until we breach potentially above this level. And as I see right now, we do have an area that's being tested. So it could be very interesting in the next few minutes, in fact, whether or not we're able to breach out of this. If we do breach out of this, then we could be pushing towards retesting $1,400 again. If, however, we're rejected, it's more than likely we'll be falling to around 1265. So pay attention in this short period of time. What we're looking for in terms of any confirmation here, we would be looking for a breach of this area, push up to a particular point, a retest, and then a further push on. In terms of a rejection, what we would be looking for is a larger candlestick pattern that came down perhaps below this green line, sat around $1,330. Then I'd be looking for a quick short term trade or short trade down to the bottom. Uh, targeting this area down here, probably here because obviously this is a wick. I'll probably be looking at around $1,260 with a stop loss just above it here. That's obviously after I'm waiting for confirmation, you would end up with something perhaps that looked a little bit like this and you know, targeting and then targeting down towards these areas, guys, looking at 5.59 uh, risk to reward trade, which is pretty much a no brainer. If you're running five, if you're running five to one trades over and over again, and you're doing your analysis correctly and you're waiting for that confirmation, then you've only got to be right so more than 20% of the time with five to one and you will be profitable. Now, obviously you want to be right more than just 20% of the time. So if you want to get better at trading, then head over to my Telegram trading group, which is linked down below in the description. It's absolutely free. Go over there guys, we're sharing a little bit of knowledge in there various times throughout the week. And all the other guys in there are also sharing their thoughts on what they're seeing. In the next few weeks, I'll be introducing a crypto and Forex trading course, which will be available in there at a very special discount for the members, as well as that, there's other bonuses, etc., available. If you want to day trade and make the most of a massive up to $4,000 bonus, then go over to BitGet, guys, link down below in the description. You can get across there, make the most of a massive bonus, as well as that, you will also gain access to my premium a Telegram, which is going to get launched next week. So make sure you're involved in all of that. Hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did, make sure you smash the thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm. And if you're new to the channel, then make sure you subscribe to be kept up to date with all the latest happening in Ethereum, Bitcoin, and other cryptos. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day. See you later. Bye-bye.